Hi guys, this is Phil from straightjacketproductions.com coming to you from the Geek Room high above the surface of the earth in a board cube and today I am uh, showcasing a new sticker kit that I've created uh, this one's for Stinger it's a small sticker kit because it's not a really decal heavy toy and I wasn't even going to do one uh, apart from Chris in Kentucky got hold of me and said that he had bought one <coughs> and washed it Hi Chris and there is a very small sticker inside on the dash that he had destroyed. Now this sticker wasn't uh, included in the original sticker sheet, it was pre-stuck. Mine's still there, I've got to be honest, I'd never noticed it. This is my original stinger. It's 30 odd years old, 35 years old. Uh, I'm glad to say it's intact and it still transforms great. So uh, I did a bit of research into the vehicle um, and uh, I'm going to show you now what kit I've got. It's just Transform it, so it's cool. Okay, Bruno, calm down, mate. Okay, there it is. In all its glory. Based on a Pontiac GTO. Um, however, it doesn't look a great deal like a, a Pontiac GTO. Uh, all the Pontiac GTOs i found look like this, and this, and this. So, uh, here's the sticker kit. It's the smallest kit I've made. You've got new grills with a GTO badge on the front there, new rear lights, uh, two little Venom stickers, it's got a larger one here, this goes in the boot, under here, and it's got kidnapping equipment because according to uh, <laughs> maskforce.com Bruno's main occupation is kidnapper, so in there he's got a box with live scorpion on its way to Outlaws uh, uh, poison manufacturing facility, a can of gasoline, a sort of bag to put over his kidnappee's head, coil of rope, duct tape, bin liners and an axe, um, a new dashboard sticker, a replacement sticker for the one that Chris contacted me about so you can actually safely clean the muck out of your stinger because if it's anything like mine it's, it is absolutely filthy inside. Um, I'd like to see the 3D printed guys, um, I know you're watching maybe produce a roof for this if, if someone hasn't already. I think that would be a really cool addition, matching the colour of course. Um, so, uh, glove box, um, dashboard, uh, you've got replacement lights, which are these incorrect, frankly, rectangular headlights. Presumably whoever designed this sticky kit hadn't seen a Pontiac GTO before. Um, so I've actually included some optional uh, there are actually four sort of round headlights set back in, in a sort of chrome square um, and they're the ones I'm going to be applying onto this. I might put these ones on first just to show you and, and check they fit because this is the prototype, I haven't even tested this. Um, and you've got another little one there for its armrest. Uh, you've got a bigger, better sort of copy of the um, registration plate. If you look at the back of mine, these, these uh, rear lights have actually had it. And the number plate was, was always really tiny and has been placed very wonkily on mine, so I'm looking forward to replacing that. And two very small, uh, they're just lights to go over these indicator bits here at the front. So um, that's what I'm going to do. I'm going to spend this evening, I'm going to clean this guy up, I'm going to give it a wash, pull the old decals off redecorate this and um, and show you this in a minute. Oh yeah, it's also got these three very small GTO badges, one for each side of the car and one for the boot or the trunk to go on there. So uh, that's it. It's going to be the smallest, cheapest kit I've produced. So I um, hope you like it and we'll check it out in just a moment. Okay guys, well it's on and I'm pretty pleased. Obviously there's not a huge difference in the kit uh, with this one. Um, I've added two small Venom stickers which are included on the kit to the side under there. They're designed to be concealed when the exhaust pipes are down. So let's just put them back into conventional mode. And we'll have a look at the front. Let's have a look in the trunk first before I put this back. Bruno's kidnapping equipment in the back. So let's have a look at the front. Uh, I'll put a better photo up now um, of the, first of all, the original uh, headlights, which I have included in the kit. Um, this is the sort of GTO modified ones I've made. 
a uh, little GTO badge on the grill there, little GTO decals for the bodywork and the trunk, new rear lights, new uh, number plate, and then inside you've got, I don't know if you're going to be able to see it very well, but you've got a glove box, the new uh, sticker there, and a little control panel for the central console there, which you might be able to make out. So that's it guys, um, hope you like it, hope you think it's cool. Um, little kit. So uh, take it easy, check out my website and uh, hope you enjoy it. All the best. Spectrum's gone.